In this video, I'm going to go over typedef in C. So typedef is a keyword we can use in C to give a new name to an existing type, what we might call an alias. So we might use it for situations like this. Let's say that I want to store the distance in kilometers to different cities from my city. So I could have like int and I could say maybe New York, Chicago, and then we'll say Miami. And maybe I store the distance in kilometers. So I'll say New York is 300 kilometers away. Chicago is going to be 500 kilometers away. And we're going to say Miami is going to be 1900 kilometers away. Now, int is okay to use, but it might be more clear if I give a new name to this type. And I could do that with type def. So I could just say type def, and I could say int, and I could say kilometer. Now, what I can do is I can say, instead of using int here, I could use kilometer. So I use kilometer instead of int. And this will actually compile just fine. So if I try to compile this here, and then run it, we don't have any errors when we go to compile it. And I can basically use kilometer now anywhere that I could use int because kilometer basically becomes an alias, a synonym, it becomes another name for int. And so we could, we could also print out these values too. So I could say like New York, and I could say percent %d slash n, percent %d slash n, I'll say New York here. And I can do the same thing with Chicago and Miami here. And we're still going to have to use percent %d for our placeholder when we do this. And that's because it's not like the type def creates a new type. Kilometer is still an int. So it's still an int. It's just an alias. It's just a different, different name for int, basically. And so I could compile this. I could run it. And we output these values here just fine. So it just gives us this other name that we can use to call an integer, basically. And we could use other types. So we could say like double or float or different things here as well. And that's going to work OK, too. You often see type def used in conjunction with what's called struct. But I'm going to make a different video to explain struct. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.